Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing my latest purchase from Amazon. This is the Tropo, I hope I'm saying that right, Tropo uh, precipitation gauge from the company Climactic Instruments. Uh, you can use this to record your rainfall totals or your snow totals. I'm gonna be using it for rain. Let's go ahead and open it up, take a look at it, and then we'll get it put up and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I apologize, the box is rather large. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see this okay. It's like they give you a sheet for you to be able to keep track of your precipitation totals. So first let me say, I do uh, rainfall totals for the local news channel here in Houston, Texas. And they basically told us you had to have one of two different rain gauges to do it. You either had to have this one or you had to have the Stratus rain gauge. I had the Stratus before, it lasted a couple years in the Texas heat and it basically cracked on me. Uh, so it didn't hold up very well, so I'm giving this company a chance, and we're gonna see how well their product is. I can tell you this, their product is packaged a whole lot better than the Stratus. The Stratus basically just comes in a box, and there's nothing with it. This is really a nice uh, feature that they give you. It is a long cleaning brush, and basically what happens is your inner tube is gonna eventually get dirty, and it's kinda hard to clean it, so I'm glad that they give you something to clean it with. Just an instruction manual. There's gonna be some items to help you with mounting. You've got some mounting screws in there. You've got a level in here. We've got some 3M tape. We've got some pull ties, nice thick pull ties. And then these here are some deter rods for birds. I'm not sure that I'm gonna use that, but it's kind of a cool idea. If you've got issues with birds sitting on your rain gauge, uh, you can use that to keep them off of it. And then the main attraction, the rain gauge itself. It's got a handle on it, which is different than the Stratus, which I really like. I think it's going to make it a whole lot easier. Uh, I think it's polycarbonate, UV resistant handle and the rain gauge itself. The rain gauge is longer than the Stratus. It can actually hold two and a half more uh, inches than the Stratus, which is another advantage of it. Uh, everything about it actually seems nicer than the Stratus. Huh. So the way they did the, the bird deter rods is you have slots cut into the top that you can simply slide those rods into, which is really cool. Maybe I will use those bird rods uh, because it looks like it would be simple to set up. Give you an idea of what the inside of the funnel looks like. Really nice. They say it's worthwhile to get a good rain gauge. Uh, there's other rain gauges out there. Let me show you one. This is kind of what my my dad used to use. Is one like this, and it's okay from a distance. You can see the values, but you can't get an exact measurement like you can with one of these scientific rain gauges. I mean, you can get to the millimeter or to the hundredth inch how much rain you're getting. So uh, again, because I'm doing it for the news channel, they want it accurate, so you need something like this. Again, I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole thing because it's so long, but that's the inner tube. It's in inches and millimeters. Like we got a couple brochures on the inside. I'll be honest, I never heard of this company until the meteorologist had recommended their rain gauge. So it's like a sticker and a thank you business card. And then this is going to be the outer tube, which again is top notch. Got some grips on the side here, which is really nice. Again, something that the Stratus rain gauge does not have. The other thing that's nice is the way they've got the lip design so that when you pour, uh, it's easier to pour. The reason that's important is because when you're taking these rain gauges, what you're gonna do is you're gonna dump the inner cylinder first. You're gonna get your measurement, you're gonna dump it, and then you're gonna take the water from the outer cylinder and you're going to pour it into the inner cylinder to get your exact rain measurements. So you're always gonna be going back to that inner cylinder when you've got over an inch. And so being able to pour easily out of the outer cylinder is really important. Again, we've got inches, 
on one side, millimeters on the other side. 13.5 inches of precipitation is what this can hold, roughly 13.5. Uh, the uh, measurements are four, and a, four inches by four inches, and then the whole thing is 18.19 inches without the bird rods. One quick thing I wanted to show you regarding the mounting is here's your mounting bracket. It's really cool the way they did this. It's got a curved back, so if you wanted to put it up against a pole, a round pole, it's gonna work perfectly fine, or if you wanna put it flat up against a wooden post or a fence, it's gonna work great as well. They also have some slots right here for the pull ties that they give you. So they give you some long, thick, flat pull ties that you can run through the mounting bracket, or you can use the mounting screws and you can screw into the wood. So it's really ideal whether you're wanting to do pole or fence or post. You're simply gonna slide the rain gauge onto the bracket, slide it off, and then you've got the handle that you would use when you wanna dump it and check your rain gauge. Just to show you the whole setup, you've got your outer tube, you're gonna slide your inner tube on the inside, it's got a spot in the bottom, so it's going to stay in the center no matter what. I should mention the little groove that they have in the bottom is better than the stratus as well. It stays in the center very easy. Then you've got your roof. You've got your lip here that you're going to line up with your pouring lip. You're simply going to go right over the top and press it down. Looks great. This is the, guys, this is the Cadillac of rain gauges. So if you want the best rain gauge, this is the one to get. All right, so I got the rain gauge installed. I wanted to give you a look at what the final product looks like out in my garden. I went ahead and just put it on a four by four wooden post that I had. Guys, this is a top notch rain gauge. I know you can be shopping and see some cheap ones out there and be tempted to just get a cheap rain gauge, but believe me, you get what you pay for and this one is top quality. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you watching. The video helped. I hope you'll give me a like. Think about subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.